Welcome to Blitz. I'm Brian Carr here with Scott Tolbert, head coach of the Commerce Lady Tigers, fresh off a Class 1A public state runner-up finish coach. Congrats on an amazing season. Thank you. Uh, to say the least, and thank you so much for having me here to talk about your team a little bit. Absolutely. Thank you for coming. Um, now, I know, obviously, I know the aspirations, the goals that you all set for this program. Uh, you wanted a state championship, but taking the game to overtime, uh, being able to let it soak in a little bit. How does it feel to, to look back and realize, wow, this what a special season to finish state runner up? It, it really was. Mm -hmm. It was a, it was a great season for the girls, um, especially after the disappointment of last year. Right. Um, but I'm real proud of the effort they put in all season long. Uh, they every game it was a maximum effort. Mm -hmm. uh, even the 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 final game, the state championship game, that was an epic. Oh yeah. Game absolutely yeah. an epic contest between us and social and. Um, you know, I, I couldn't be more proud of how well the girls played this year. Yeah. Well, was there any particular message that you gave the team before that game, or and then also what did you tell them after? I mean, you know, it, it was it was kind of funny because we left them alone. Mm -hmm. um, when we got to Mercer, w they went into the locker room. Um, they play their music and do all the stuff yep. they do back there, and and we basically just left them alone yep. and let them get get themselves yep. psyched up and, and prepared. Uh, before we went out, we we went over our game plan, mm -hmm. what we wanted to do. But it was, you know, we we have a, a group that's played together for many many years. Um, we got some outstanding players, and and they get themselves. Yeah. We just we lay out what we want them to do, mm -hmm. and then they can take it, and they're mature enough to be able to run with what we're what our plans are. Yeah, I mean, great teams don't really have to be told that this is a big game, right? So, I mean, they knew it. Yeah. Uh, what about uh, you know after the game? I'm sure that you know some words were said, but um, you know what what was it the general message that you kind of shared with this this group of girls? It, it was, of course, it was disappointing. We mm -hmm. we I mean, it was a back and forth game the yep. entire entire time. Um, we just we got tired. They had a lot more players than we did. Mm -hmm. Um, that they could sub in and out. It was hot. Mm -hmm. um, it was a very intense game, and uh, and basically we wore it out. Yeah. Um, but after the game, it, it was, you know that if we didn't give a maximum effort, then you know that's you could be disappointed. But I, I was proud of how well right. they played. Right. You know, I, they they left it on the field. They gave everything they could give. Um, we had players out there who were injured who mm -hmm. were playing. And, and uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm just I'm so proud of how well they did. Yeah, absolutely. I think everyone else is, too, in the community for sure. Um, now, you go 21-2 and two overall, the only two losses coming against Social Circle in that overtime title match. But how much, um, you know, many people forget this about this program, that this isn't the pinnacle. I mean, you've got such a young team mm -hmm. still. Uh, what do you feel like uh, this is going to propel the team to do for the next two years? I, I, feel, I feel really good. Um, we go into since GHSA reclassified everybody. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a little bit different look sure. to, to Class A yep. now. Um, as far as our team, we only graduate four seniors. Yeah, and, that's awesome. and we graduate. I think I looked the other day, and it was like ninety-nine point something percent of our goals come back next year. <laughs> so yeah. everybody, all our goal scores are back. Yeah. So I. I anticipate that we ought to be pretty good. We got to yeah. we got to plug a few holes. Sure, um, but I think we can do that. We've we've got girls that are have been in our system for mm -hmm. for a number of years, so we should be able to put them in. We've got girls that um, we pride ourselves on. Give us an athlete, yep. and we can make a we can make a soccer player out of yeah. it. And so we've had girls approach us who are very athletic here at the school that want to come out and play. And so, you know, we plan on putting them to work. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, now, obviously, your daughter Ivy, uh, unbelievable goal scorer. You mentioned that. Um, 100 goals on the season, which just to find a, a player locally that can score 100 in a career is, is just about a rare thing. But 100 in a season, I've never heard of that. So, um, I know it's a loaded question, but how, how special is it to watch her be able to do that? It, it really is fun. It really is fun to be able to, to experience that with her. Um, she ended up 104 goals mm -hmm. on the season. It, and it's just you you sort of just catch yourself just watching. Yeah. Um, and just watching how amazing these kids are. Mm -hmm. But the thing you, you think about, though, is she can't do what she does unless – Mm -hmm. Kate Hill does what mm -hmm. she does, or Chloe Diaz does what she does, or our back line with Karis Allen and, and Kylie Taylor and those guys do what mm -hmm. they do. Mm -hmm. 
it's it really is a team effort. The good thing with Ivy is Ivy can finish. Yeah. Um, but she can't finish unless Kate gets her the ball. Yep. And so that's they, they work so well together, and it's so much fun to watch them play. Yeah, absolutely. And and on that note as well, you got Chloe, who, yeah, she missed a huge chunk of this season uh, due to injury, but for her also to eclipse 100 goals that's in her amazing. career, unbelievable for two teammates. Mm -hmm. uh, again, it goes to something I I've honestly never seen uh, in this area. So, uh, how special is that to have a pair of 100 goal scorers, and not just not just having them this year, but now they're coming back next coming year back. too. <laughs> it, it really is. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. It really is amazing. And Chloe is, is such a warrior and, and such an out, unbelievable player. Mm -hmm. You know, I was at the award ceremony last summer. She hurt her knee last summer. She mm -hmm. blew her ACL and meniscus. And so she, she spent all summer, all fall, all winter, all spring getting to the point where she could come back and play for those final couple of games. Mm -hmm. And to have her to be able to get out there and 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 come back from an ACL injury is just yes. I mean it's so mentally oh, tough. mentally is so difficult. Mm -hmm. So difficult. And for her to come back and be able to score a hundredth goal and to to contribute like she did in the state championship game, I mean it was just, it's a phenomenal yeah. effort. Absolutely phenomenal effort. But you know, when that happened last summer um, you sort of sit back. It's like getting, it's like getting punched in the stomach mm -hmm. because I mean that's that's not just one of the best players on your team. I mean that's mm -hmm. one of the best players in the state of Georgia. Yeah. I mean she is good point. Yeah, yeah. She is a D one player. Mm -hmm. She's a phenomenal player. And so that's at that point that's when you sit back and you think, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? Mm -hmm. And so you you think of all the different ways that this can work out. And so. The first phone call I had was to Kate Hill. Mm -hmm. And so I said, Kate, you have been outstanding. You're an unbelievable player, but I need you to do even better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then I see Ivy at home, and I said, Ivy, you, you had a great year last year, but I need you to do better. Yeah. I mean, and she scored 65 goals last right. year. Yeah. And I'm asking you to do, do better than that. Yeah. So. The the fact that the both of them were able to step up and and for the, Ivy gets a lot of the attention, mm -hmm. but Kate Hill was absolutely unbelievable this year. I mean, she, the the work that she put in and the ability that she has to control the the entire middle mm -hmm. of the of the field and to be able to drop back almost to a holding mid position. Yeah. And to, and to bring the ball up and get it to Ivy and let Ivy do her magic. It's, it's very unselfish. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. I mean, she, Kate Hill, I just I can't say enough great things about how well she played this year. Just absolutely phenomenal player. That's awesome. And, and on, you know, you, you've alluded to this, but um, what I love about your team is that it's just so dominant on both sides. The, the offense is great, uh, 171 goals, 19 allowed. Uh, I know six of those came in the last game or whatever. Yeah. So, I mean, almost all year, hardly anyone could score off y'all. Um, what is it like as a coach to be able to sit back and you do have, you do need your goal scorers to score, but you also know, hey, I've got one of the best defenses in the state yeah. to go with it. <laughs> uh, it, it. It is fun. Mm -hmm. It is fun. We, we make sure that our back line and our defensive side of our, our pitch is very athletic. Mm -hmm. We put our fast girls our most athletic girls, we try to get them back there. Yeah. Um, there are times when we want to when we want to play defensively, we'll drop Kate back or we'll yep. drop Ivy back. And when you got that back there, I mean, it's just very difficult. But yeah. But it's like Karis Allen. Karis Allen been in our program for four years. Mm -hmm. She played all four years, she, and she was able to play with Abby last year. And and we just we sort of have this where you pass the baton off. Yep. And so Karis has passed the, or Abby passed the baton to Karis. Mm -hmm. And Karis was, oh my gosh, I mean, she was so good this year mm -hmm. back there, running our back line. And she had help with, with Kylie Taylor, Anna Taylor, um, with uh, Riley Allen, um, Faith Brown. I mean, she just, we had all these players just step up back there. Yeah. Um, Ermy Vasquez, mm -hmm. who played outstanding as a defensive mid position. Rachel English, who would drop back and play in a defensive mid position. Um, we had Bailey uh, Reese, who would drop back at times. We would play her up top and as well as in the back. And so 
We just had all these great players who who unselfishly want to go back mm -hmm. and play defense. Yeah. And and that's what's so good about this squad. Yeah. Is it's not about how many goals I can score. It's I want to make sure the other team doesn't score any goals. Right. And, and I and our our mantra going into this is. If the other team does not score, we don't lose. True. And that's, that's the way we look at things. simplification, yes. but it's absolutely true. Yeah. And so that's that's how we look at, look at these games and how we view these games. So yep. Yeah. Um, it's Yeah, I mean, it's up down the roster. It seems like everybody's bought in. And going back to the fact that you do return such a huge portion mm -hmm. of your roster, I know there is the shakeup and all that of, of the region realignment and everything like that. But uh, what do you feel like uh, – this team can do to improve upon what they've done this year. I mean, is it is it going back to the same players and saying, "I know you got the hundred goals, but we got to go more." Yeah. <laughs> the the good thing is, um, the good thing is we'll have Chloe back. Yep. For the entire yeah, season. For, yeah. But we had so many people injured, and and this is one of these, we, the injuries were adding up yeah. for us. We had Chloe who had her knee. That was blown out, mm -hmm. and we didn't get 100% Chloe back. I mean, right. we, we got a percentage of Chloe, but it, it wasn't anywhere near what, right. what what she will be next season. Mm -hmm. But Chloe was injured. We had Kylie Taylor, um, our star defender. She uh, held off having so shoulder surgery oh, until wow. after the season. Yeah. We had Bailey Reese, who had held off having surgery on her leg. She had broken her leg a couple mm -hmm. of years ago. The bone grew back odd mm -hmm. so they were going to have to go back in and and operate on her leg by basically breaking her leg and, and fixing the bone there um, so she was in pain constantly through the season so we'd have to sub her out mm -hmm. um, she was injured putting off having surgery until after the season we had Rachel English who broke her wrist mm -hmm. and who wore a cast it was giant <laughs> cast like a club throughout yeah. the season you had our goalkeeper, our all-state goalkeeper, Kendall Peters, who had a broken hand. No, and that's, that's hard, yeah. Nobody really you need knew. that. You kind of need that. No, <laughs> yeah. You need your hands to be a goalkeeper. Nobody. We just sort of kept that secret. That, yeah. But she broke her hand in the um, quarterfinals, mm -hmm. and so she played two games, the semifinals wow. and the finals, with a broken hand. <laughs> so, I had no idea. That's amazing. So we had all these injuries. Yeah. That just stacked up on us. So. The good thing is, hopefully next year we don't have the injury. Right. And then we, or, we, or just not even a portion of that. Yes. Would be good, right? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, Coach, sounds like everything's in place. For I'm hoping the next time, I'm not jinxing or anything, I don't have that kind of power, but uh, I hope next time I come here we'll have a state championship trophy right well, that, here in front of us. That would be awesome. Cool. That's Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Brian.